Hello, welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more British ads from the 2000s. I've done a couple of videos like this before, and you guys seem to really enjoy them. So yeah, let's, uh, let's take a trip down memory lane together. I join Smile because they give me loads more interest on my current account than my old bank ever did. What the f What is Smile? I've never heard of Smile before. But Smile did all that for me. It's the co-op bank. Is Smile Bank still a thing, or is it, is it just is it just the co-op bank? Oh, it's still a thing. Smile is a British banking brand that... Oh, you don't care. You don't care. It's a thing. <laughs> Okay, it was the first internet bank then, like you know, like a Monzo or a Starling. It was like one, it was like one of those, but it was the first one. That's 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 quite cool. I just got you the mother of all contracts. Really? Is that what's her name from from the Marvel films? Is that her from the Mar the Marvel film? G Gwyneth Paltrow. Is that her name? Is it? I can't tell. Does she want a case with that? Virgin Mobile. Is Virgin Mobile still a thing? I'm just gonna be doing this for like most of these. I'm just gonna be seeing if they're still things. Because I was on Virgin Mobile when I was in like primary school. It fucking is still a thing. Wow. I didn't know that. I remember buying, uh, I remember I bought a ringtone of a, of a Michael Jackson song accidentally because I thought it was the whole song. And for, if you're paying like, like two or three quid for something, you're, you're expecting it to be a full song, aren't you? I'm not stupid. I wasn't a stupid 10 year old, was I? So I paid all this money. I just got like a, like a 30 second snippet and I was devastated. So I spent ages trying to get my parents permission to let me buy it. You can have it all. In the Nokia 6600 phone. What the fuck is that? What on earth is that? That is, that is clapped. That phone is clapped beyond belief. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's have a look at the camera on the back. What the fuck? I mean, I'm sure it was revolutionary for its time, but imagine like the newest iPhone comes out. It's got like a big thing there and it like goes out like an actual camera. Fuck me, that... <laughs> It's like a, it's like what's it? Um, one of those fucking things where you got the stylus. I don't know what, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the, it looks like the little thing you got the stylus for. I, I'm, I'm making no sense. There's the bath and the trampoline that got him up there, but the train, I have to say, is late. Ah, now then. Could she be the one? Is this the ad for the, you know, the jelly bath? What was it? Jelly, I think it was literally called jelly bath, where you put the powder in the bath and it turned into jelly. I was never allowed that for some reason. My parents wouldn't let me have that. I don't think this is an ad for that, though. No, that's, that doesn't look like jelly bath. Oh, it's Tango. I thought, I was, I was, I was hoping it'd be jelly bath. The old analog signal is being switched off for good. My telly's not working. Can I watch yeah, Corrie on yours, Al? Okay, I, I don't know if this is like an old thing, but who the fuck goes right? Who's so desperate to watch something that they'll go they'll go to their neighbour's house, knock on it, and be like, yeah, can I can I can I watch TV at yours? Mine's not working. Who has the balls for that? If my neighbour came and knocked at my door and was like, I want I want to I want to watch Britain's Got Talent, my TV's not working, I'd laugh in their face. I wonder if that dog's still alive. <laughs> There is no drip in this ad at all. There's zero drip. I don't know what this is for, but there's no drip in this. What the fuck does that have to do with Intel? It's just two people badly dancing with no drip. The new Woolworths catalogue gives you more ways to shop. Over to Woolly. Thank you, Worth. Well, uh, you can order in store at the catalogue point. No, not anymore. You can't. You've gone bankrupt, you silly sheep. Oh, what? All right, that was an ad for Virgin Media. Now, nah, fuck off. Uh, Virgin Media are ops. They're ops to me. I mean, I complain about BT a lot, but BT are absolute godsends in comparison to Virgin Media. I grew up with Virgin Media in my household, and let me tell you, I, it's the, I would not wish it on my worst enemy. It would just, like, go out for days at a time for no reason. It was insane. I don't know if they still do it to this day, but, I mean, I, I, nev I never hear good things about them. I think the only one I've heard worse things about is Sky. Science is coming alive. With the horrible science. Collection. Oh the my god! Magazine with the screechy bits left in. I had these! I remember! I fuck, uh, oh my god, that is. That is a blast from the past. So I remember when I went to this is a little bit of a little bit of a story time here. I uh, when I went to primary school, it was like it like it was like down this little uh, side road bit, and at the top of the side road there was a corner shop, and uh, my my parents they got the corner shop man to reserve me one of these whenever they came out. Oh my god, it was it was incredible. You used to get to make like slime and stuff. Visit the beastly body shop and see exactly what goes into the human body. Oh, almost human. Slam at these squidgy lungs. Gross. Do they make stuff like this anymore? And start collecting. The foul facts. Oh, I had the, I had the fucking foul fact. Oh, 
I forgot about that. What a time to be alive this was. I was only about like, what, five or six, I think, but. Including skin crawler and squidgy lungs. Science has never been so horrible. That's elite. That's so good. I miss you, horrible science. Is horrible science still a thing? I don't think it is. They got books and stuff, but I don't think they do the magazine. The magazines were so. Um, so good. Make this Christmas perfect with Sky Movies. As a kid, I really wanted Sky Movies, but we, we couldn't afford it. I have it now, though. Now that I'm a big shot, I have Sky. Well, it's, it's now TV now, but I have I have I have now TV. And Netflix is also a thing now. So yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, we did we did we did not have things like that when I was when I was a wee whippersnapper. We had to go to to Blockbuster or buy things on demand. It was a it was a it was a horrible time. We may have had horrible science, but we did also have to buy stuff on demand. <laughs> What the fuck? But is, was that the first ever Pez? I mean, I, I would knock it for how bad it looks, but it was. They probably could have chosen better footage. They probably could have chosen better footage. But you're going to give people all sorts of amazing things on their TVs. Do we still need satellite dishes? Is that still a thing? I don't. I live in. I live in flat. So I, I live in flat. I live in a flat. So I don't. Do, do you need these still? <gasps> The Did dog. You know that right now there's oh. loads of fun dog stuff to learn at the dog. Elite Mackie's toy. <laughs> the fucking cat. A McDonald's hamburger, mineral water, and a juicy fruit bag. Yeah, no, ain't no, ain't no one ever get fruit bags. If your parents treated you to a sumptuous McDonald's and they got you a fruit bag, they don't love you. I know it's healthy, but like, come on, but Mackie's, it's a treat. You don't go to Mackie's to be healthy, do you, really? And water, uh... Who goes to Mackey's and gets water? Get an oasis like a normal person. Inside every new delicious Dairy Lee Lunchables fun pack, you'll find... Mm. <gasps> one of three Simpsons models. Really? I don't remember this. I rarely ever had, like, I had Lunchables, I think, in my childhood, a total of maybe, like, twice. I never had them. The window man from Safe Style UK has got something to say. You know the one. You buy one, you get one free. You buy one, you get one free. Right now, for every window door that you buy, I'll give you another one absolutely free. It's really odd. This is very American style advert like if you've ever seen american ads you'll know what i mean like th this is a very very american style ad to be put on british tv do you have lots of old movies and games now at blockbuster you can turn them into cash or credit to spend on anything have you ever done that where you like trade i i, I used to i used music magpie that one was all right but like, a lot of the time when you like go to sell dvds and stuff you get like 2p for a lot of them to be fair it's understandable no, no one buys dvds anymore but still your local blockbuster bringing entertainment home trade in your old movies and games and see how much you save. you know what i think that i think that little business model they got going on there i think that that could save the business Hey you, have you seen Robo Sapien? Oh, oh, Robo Sapien. Sapien can perform up to 67 different functions oh, with remote control. Robo Sapien can even be programmed to respond to sound I and love touch. Robo Sapien. Robo Sapien, the robot that thinks it's a human. I had the little, uh, the little Robo Sapien. I had the little one. They're sick. Lovely. Love him. Oh, I love a twister. Like the twister rap. Two crispy shrimps and fresh salad and one tortilla. They used to, what? Did they say shrimp? They used to have shrimp at caves. I don't believe it. Like the Twister Wrap. Two crispy shrimps and fresh salad. No shrimps? Is that another word for chicken? But it's shrimps. Man, I, mi I missed I missed out. We didn't have a KFC near me growing up, so I, I rarely ever had it. It was like a proper treat if I got a like a proper treat. Like, you know, like a once every nine months kind of thing. Fruit-filled adventures with innocent smoothies. Innocent smoothies are top fucking tier. They're top fucking tier. Like, naked smoothies are good, but innocent smoothies, but they are. Oh, mwah. Love them. <clears throat> oh, console bills, oh, console bills. So many games for you to play. What the fuck? I don't know what they're fucking saying. What the fuck are they saying? Did, uh, that's, I heard something about council bills and it gave me a fucking flashback. Because fucking, fuck, fuck, while I'm at it, fuck Tower Hamlet's council. They keep trying to charge me money I don't owe. And when I, when I pay them, they don't... <laughs> The nightmares. But what? What the fuck? What are they saying? Oh, console bills! Oh, console bills! So many games for you. What the fuck are they saying? Of the week, dear of the week, they're all in store at games today. Make sure you scored this weekend. I, I mean, I, 
I can't understand what they're fucking saying. Can you? Can you can I, am I stupid? Pro Evo 2009 on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 is just $24.99. Christ, do you remember when games were 40 quid? And you get like a brand new AAA game for 40 quid. Those were the days. I think I paid 70 for the newest. I paid, and that wasn't, that wasn't even like an, an ultimate version. It was just base version. I paid 70 quid for FIFA. It's outrageous. And then I spent another 200 quid on packs. Tivo is so clever. It actually learns what you like to watch on TV. Oh. Uh, Oh, what, TiVo? Do, uh, do, do, do we even have TiVo over here? I don't. I thought that was like a well American thing. I remember I had like a I had a TiVo feature on on um, my Virgin Media box. I had a TiVo feature on that. Like, what, it had like an it had a learning algorithm like YouTube. That's so cool. All without videotape. Do you remember when that was like groundbreaking technology, like catch up TV and like, or like recording TV shows? Do you remember when that was groundbreaking? So weird. That was only like. 10 years, it was over 10, it was probably about like 15 years ago or so. Cheer up, Lisa. What the fuck are those? What if he meets someone else? Well, make sure he doesn't. Mm. Comfort gives fabric. What the fuck is this? Deep down softness. They're so ugly. You better go, Darren. Darren? Tender, loving comfort. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? I mean, I understand what it was advertising, but why were they all so ugly? <laughs> What have I got for you? Zilch. You know, I just don't need to be weighed down. This is what my life is like. This is my life. <laughs> I've no idea what that is. I know it's an Australian ad. Why is this in UK 2000's adverts compilation part two? Bob Skellington, huh? Why is it in there? To announce that Nick Jr. is now on all day, every day. Yes! Play, laugh, and learn with the very best programs, old and new. Fuck yes. They want to watch it. So tune in to Nick Jr. Nick Jr. was elite, though. It was so good. It was so good. Top tier kids channel. You had like, what, your, your Max and Rubies. You had your, you had your Blues Clues. <laughs> Hey, oh, wait, did it just say games around £90? Or did I... Alright, okay, no, Game Boy Advance around £90. I was about to say Game Boy game for £90. It's not 2022, mate. Game Boy Advance. Console quality gaming anywhere. Well, it wasn't console quality. Well, just being realistic, it wasn't console quality. I've had a nightmare. A really bad one. Be okay, Dad. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? That's actually a really fucking good ad. I, I, that's a sick ad. I'll give him that. That's a good. I like that ad. That's good. New Aqua Draw gives you so much more. More oh. fun for everyone. I remember best this. Best of all, it's watery fun. No ink, no brushes, no paint to run. Aqua Draw is amazing. The special pen. I remember the the song. I remember the song. I don't think I ever had this because um, I mean I think I was too old, but I I, I remember it. I want my video now. New video now. You can watch your favorite shows on your own personal. My God, what is this? I want cool shows like Jackie Chan, Jimmy Neutron, The Fairly Odd Parent. That, I mean, for its time, fairly revolutionary. I used to have something like that and you put CDs in it. It was about that big. Revolutionary for its time. Dad, I'm gay. Excellent. Sometimes. <laughs> That's a good ad. I like that ad. Good ad. Good, well done, Vodafone. Good ad. Start your love story. Is that still a thing? Is Match.com still a thing? Or are people just using like Tinder and Hinge? Does it, does it, Match seems like a bit like, I mean, maybe if you're being more serious and you're you're an actual adult looking uh, for someone to settle down with, maybe that might be better for you. But I don't know. I don't know. From my perspective, it just seems like too much work. Why is this in like 144p? I've never had HP sauce before. It just doesn't smell nice. Proper British. Proper British sauce. Nah, I'm, I'm all right. I, I like barbecue. My barbecue. I like my barbecue. Oi, your lady. Is that off the new McChoice menu? Well, the McFlurry is. Fancy with my meal. 99p. 99p? In my day, you had to earn your food. McDonald's new McChoice menu. Eight favourites, just 99p. Is that deck? Is that a deck? But no, I, that's a weird ad. Very weird ad. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to let me know. I'd love to do another video like this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Merch link is in the description, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.